family. What's up with it? What it look like? What you know no good, huh? What's up with it? Excuse me. Today is July, excuse me, the 5th, 2017. And it is 9.01 in the p.m. It's over 100 degrees still in my hood, okay? I've just gotten out of the shower. I steamed a little bit. I'm a little misty. My body temperature is still high, plus it's hot. So I'm sweating a little bit. I'm glistening a little bit. But it is what it is. Okay, I got my little fan going right here to just kind of, you know, cool my body down just a little bit. Bring my core temperature down. But it ain't even about all that shit. What it's about, though, I need to holler at my girl Rashida. Rashida, listen, girl, listen. Now, I done seen the whole season, this last season, of Love and Hip Hop. I seen it. I, I feel your pain, okay? Let me just say that I feel your pain. And the reason I feel as though I can come in and I can talk about this, because I've been a wife, okay? I've been a wife over 20 years. My husband had 12 affairs, 12 that I am aware of, okay? I am now divorced. My shit is over with. Now it's me plus three. I'm 45 years old, and I'm p moving forward and plowing on with my life, okay? And so that is why I feel as though I can come on from a woman-to-woman -woman standpoint on what it is that you're feeling because I understand. Did my husband have a baby? He did not. But running bitches and sleeping with bitches and bitches fucking with my income, I've been there, okay? And it hurts like a motherfucker. I already know that it does. But, check this out, though. You won. You won, mama. You won. You already won. Right now, excuse me. I should have drank my soda. <laughs> but, I know right now it's probably hard to really fathom. You know what I'm saying? You can't wrap your head around what I'm saying right now. You can't because your reality is pain. So that is what you feel at this point in time. You can't make sense of everything because it's all over the blogs. Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. That's what I needed. It was right there. I was waiting on it to come. The motherfucker wouldn't come, girl. But, you know, it's hard to wrap your head around it or make sense out of it because it's like, I'm so gorgeous. I've given him children. This is my manager. We grew up together in a way. You know, he's been my confidant. My, I've been, excuse me, his ride or die. This has been my bestest nigga. And you go against the grain. You don't never fuck down, you fuck up. And you gonna do this right here? Now, throughout all the courses of love and hip-hop on every motherfucking season, he been on some do-lo shit. Okay? This motherfucker has been raggly. On every season, he has done you a do-lo. So I can understand where you at right now. Fuck him and fuck what he got going on. I'm out of this motherfucker. But one more again, Rashida, you won. This man, and I hope what you're saying is correct, that he gave you everything. If he gave you everything, and which he kind of pretty much confirmed it anyway, so it's like, okay, at this point in time, there's no fight. Allow him to go his way. But I understand that you have business tied in with him. At this point in time, now it's time to circle yourself around some good, good girlfriends. Get you a bomb-ass uh, financial consultant. Turn and tune into yourself. So then, therefore, you can start growing mentally and spiritually. So then, therefore, you can be strong enough to take on whatever there is to come. Because you still got a baby that you got to raise. Your son is a big boy, like mine. I got two boys, big boys, and a daughter. So, but you still have to hold on some strength and still show face for the baby. That's what makes it hard. That your baby has now a baby brother. That is some hard-ass shit that you have to explain to your son. 
about. You know what I mean? So, girl, this pain is, this, uh, it's unfathomable. You know what I'm saying? How can a nigga be that gutter? If you gonna fuck these bitches, fuck them. Okay? We can't stop men from cheating on us. That's one thing that we cannot do. You can't fake pregnancies thinking that that's going to change up a nigga's mindset or bring him home. You can't fuck the shit out of him. You can't cook him a hell of a pot roast. You can't do any of that. That is something that he has to get on his own. And when he's tired, that is when a man begins to change. When they're, when they're wilding out and see as it stands right now, there's women out here in this world that's willing to do any and everything to get on. Any and everything to get their Spectrum bills paid. Motorola or whatever they, I mean, excuse me, Metro PCS and what's that other one? Boost Mobile. That's it. Is chicks out here nowadays, they willing to fuck for free, okay? Just to say, I fucked with so-and-so. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. I understand your pain on this. I really, really do. But one more again, you won, okay? So this is what I would do. If I was you on some real shit, and I know that I'm mad at your ass, but you're also still my manager, I will sit this shit out on some real shit. <laughs> I should, I'll sit all this motherfucking shit out because you're not getting to make no extra money off my motherfucking ass. So then therefore, look, Rashida, let me tell you how my plan will go. Can I tell you here it go? Okay, you're my manager. Next season, Mona, I need to be on the show. I'm getting myself together. I'm going through counseling sessions. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting physically fit. You already, you know what I'm saying, all together. You, you know what I'm saying? You, your body and all that shit is already tight. But this next season, you completely working on you. You know what I'm saying? You getting, you, you, you doing your, um, uh, what's her name on, 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 what is her name? Damn. That just, that just, Got divorced from Peter. I can't think of her name. Turn 50 years. Cynthia. You getting your Cynthia Bailey on. Okay. You looking good than the motherfucker. You dating whoever the fuck you want to date. And you living life on your own terms. This man done already signed off. And said you can have everything. Now it's time to go to the title companies. And change up the names on that shit. Okay. It's time to go change the names up on this bullshit. Now, he has already said it on national TV. I'm giving her everything. So, that's already his, uh, that's already his, uh, notar uh, his shit is already notarized by his statements. But, being that you got the paperwork, get all that motherfucking shit changed in title. So, then, therefore, even if you do later on accept your husband back, then therefore, guess what? All this shit right here is still yours. But from what he's been saying on the show and whatever the case, that he still want to manage your career for an extra two years, guess what? I'll sit the fuck out. I wouldn't do nothing extra for this motherfucker. Allow her to eat his ass up on his child support payments or whatever. That's between him and her on however they get out. Motherfucker, you, you move this motherfucker in the building and everything? You took away from our income, our family disposable income, you as my husband. So then therefore the money that I was out here making, you was taking it and sponsoring this motherfucker right here. Rashida Karma is a motherfucker, mama. And I appreciate the fact that you quiet as shit. I appreciate that. That means that you're very mature about yours. It hurt like a motherfucker. Of course you're going to say two or three things every now and again because you just get sick of it. You know what I'm saying? You get sick of motherfuckers constantly coming at you laughing and saying this and, oh, I saw your man and all that. All that kind of shit. Crazy shit that women do. Women are part messy motherfuckers. All of us are. You know what I'm saying? It's just some a little bit more messier than others. Okay? And especially if a woman don't have no life. You know what I'm saying? No disposable income. Can't do what you do. Them bitches right there be really motherfucking salty. Just for the simple fact that they not you and they can't do what you do. So you done sprinkle lorries over all the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You done sprinkle McCormick, Morton Salt, all that shit on these chicks all throughout these years because you've been the wife. They want what you have. So by any means necessary, they've been fucking with your husband. But his ass ain't got no get right in him to where this nigga's been weak enough to allow it. This is crazy. So which means you've been running up in these bitches raw. 
Nigga, you, are you out of your mind? Are you serious right now? And then you're going to question the paternity of our son together when you still out here doing this bullshit? Listen, girl, <laughs> mama, I'll be back on next season. I've been having me a cold-ass conversation with Mona. Look, check this out. I need to be back on the season. Start stacking up your money. You already got your business and all this old type of shit. Change the titles on all that motherfucking shit. So even if you accept him back as a wife and as a mother and as, you know, all that, I can't tell you to leave your husband. That is improper. I can't tell you that. Though according to the word, if there's infidelity issues in a marriage, that is, that does give you right to walk away from your marriage. Okay? That was my one that was my reason, okay? Was infidelity issues. There's no questions asked as far as the eyes of you know, the eyes of, of God. So do it as you will. But change up the title on all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Change up the title. Sit back, kick back, tune into yourself, get into some yoga, some meditation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put your money in your businesses and all that other kind of shit. But whatever it is that he's managing of you to do, you ain't going to be Mary J. Blige and my motherfucking money on these bitches out here in these goddamn streets. Fuck that. So then therefore, I'm just not going to do nothing then. I'm just going to allow the spouse support, this child support, all this shit to come in and take care of all this right here. You the one fucked up our home. You the one fucked up our marriage. What? And I'm going to go out here and I'm hustling and working? So then, therefore, you can continue to sponsor bitches on the side? No, that's going to be a no on that. That's a negative. Okay? That's a negative. So, Mama, I do nothing but wish you nothing but the best. I know that it hurts right now. But right now, hell yeah, your squad need to be coming in and saying, Girl, look, check this out. We're going to be all right. We're going to work through all of this. Hey, look at here. <laughs> we got something for that ass. We're going to go down here. We got all, we got the paperwork right here. He done signed all this and this and this. Check this out. Look at here. Check this out. <laughs> and one thing you need to get is a revocable trust on that ass. Let me spell it for you. R-E-V-O-C-A-B-L-E. -E. I don't know about the state of Georgia, but the state of California, if you have anything over $50,000, you need a revocable trust. Now, you've already stated y'all got businesses and homes and all this kind of stuff. Get you a revocable trust, mama. Get you a revocable trust. So then, therefore, and everything has been changed, titles and all that other kind of shit, he can't come back and say, well, I need to take care of my son because he's still a minor, so I need one of these houses. Now, he ain't got no action on that because the revocable trust is coming in and saying, okay, first of all, he already said that he signed over everything. He gave you everything. Okay, that's one win. The next thing is, now you got the title companies, you done change all this bullshit up. But what's going to trump all that nonsense is a revocable trust. That shuts down any conversations when you have that. Okay? that All you need is for Candy to sign that motherfucker and Tammy or somebody. You need two signatures or get that shit notarized. Then therefore... He really ain't got no action on nothing that you build. He ain't got, he ain't, he don't have no voice. Because as it stands, he's showing you that he's reckless. He's showing you that he's not responsible. He's showing you that, you know, his, these women are truly his weakness. And he ain't got no get right in him. So then therefore, you need to stabilize what you have for you and your children. So then therefore, the rest of your life, you can live a comfortable life. Okay? And you can still be able to survive and live off this little spouse support and child support. It's just recycle money any motherfucking way, being that he's the manager or whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah, hit his ass where it hurts. You can't hurt him no other way. You done already tried it. None of it is working. So you got to hit his ass in his pockets. Then therefore, yes, will he end up with another chick? Yes, he will end up with another chick just for the simple fact that they want to say, I'm fucking with, I'm fucking with Kirk. But at the end of the day, guess what? This shenanigan shit that he got going on, most women that any that's about any motherfucker thing ain't gonna want him no goddamn way. This nigga's damaged goods nowadays. You know what I'm saying? This nigga low key on some T.I. type shit, but T.I. trying to redeem his shit by sitting on the stage with Tiny over the weekend. I see what he trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Look, check this out. I got records and shit to sell. I got I got motherfucking tours and shit that I need sold out. And right now motherfuckers is mad at me. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, I understand. But, 
Rashida, baby, you won. Okay? You can't see the sun because there's so much clouds. But woman to woman, meditate. Tune into yourself. Strengthen your spirituality. Get into prayer. Surround yourself around some people that genuinely care and can help you see the light out of this darkness. Because I know it hurts. I have been here a time or two in my life. And it hurts like a motherfucker. On that note, mama, you got a girl here in Cali that's here for you, baby. Been been there and done that. If ever you need a little California game, holla at your partner. I got you, mama. On that note, deuces, you take care. Namaste.